Okay, guys, I'll make a little tutorial for you guys to, uh, for you guys can change some of the system sounds on your iPhone. The first thing you do is uh, find the sound effect that you like. Um, you can just Google it, just find anything you like, and save it. I already have some in here. First thing you have to do is drag it into your iTunes library. And uh, let me just play it for you. And uh, this is actually for my Pac-Man slider. I'll show you guys that later. And so now that I have the sound effect, first thing you need to do is go into Edit, click on Preferences, and you need to find the tab that says Importing. Now this one's actually under Advanced Advanced uh, Settings, but uh, your iTunes might be a little different. The one you're really looking for is Importing. Once you do that, you need to find the one that says uh, Import Using, and then click on the one that says AIFF Encoder. I already have it set, so you just click OK. And then go back to the sound you downloaded. There you go. And right click, and you click on Convert Selection to AIFFF. And so now you have a newly converted file. With this file, you grab it and drag it, pull it out. You can put it anywhere. I'm just going to put it on the desktop, so now I have it saved as killed2.aif. Next thing you want to do is uh, FTP to your iPhone. You can do plenty of different ways. What I do is I just use this, the uh, Qt FTP. So now that I'm in there, you're going to have to go to System, Slash Library, Slash Audio, Slash UI Sounds. Once you're in there, you're going to find a bunch of files called with different names, and it's going to end with a dot .caf. Now, once you find the sound you want to replace, I'm going to be replacing the unlock sound. It's called unlock.caf. You want to go into the file you have saved, and then click on it, and then rename it to unlock.caf. Make sure you change the extension. I already have it done over here, it's called unlock.caf. There for you guys. And so now that we have that one, you want to drag it. In the, oh, I'm sorry. Before you do that, make sure to make a backup copy copy of your original one. You can do this by either just renaming this one to unlockbackup.caf or you can save it onto your computer in, the, in a different folder just so you know in case you ever want to return to the original sounds you don't have to go looking for them. You have it saved already. So I already have done that so I'm just going to copy my newly converted one drag it in. It's going to it says do you want to overwrite? Yes. I already have a backup of it, so I don't have to worry. And just to play safe, you want to right click, find properties, and make sure it's set to 755. It's already set, so it doesn't fall on there. Now, once that's done, you can just go into your iPhone and uh, restart it. Most, most easiest way to do is just to reset the springboard and test out if your new sounds are working. So, the next thing you want to do is once you restarted your iPhone, is check if the sounds work. Now, the reason I had chose that sound is because I actually have a Pac-Man slider. You see Pac-Man and the ghost. And so once I slide it, you're going to hear. And now you know it's working. So every time you slide it, now you're going to have the uh, Pac-Man. So of course, you can do whatever sound you'd like. Uh, the next sound effect I actually have saved on here is uh, a recording I did for my camera app. And uh, most of my friends find it hilarious as hell. Uh, let's just find a picture. I don't have anyone in the room with me, so I'll just take a picture of someone on the internet. And so once I take the picture, that? I don't like it. in case you didn't hear that, that? I don't like it. it's just something silly I just put up. And you can set it to wherever you like. Okay, and uh, the last one I did was for when I turn it off. And there you go. Now you can uh, change some of the uh, system sounds on your iPhone. Make sure to check out my uh, blog, download my iPhone, all one word, dot blogspot dot com for this tutorial as well as other applications and games to download manually for your iPhone. Hope you enjoy this.